Welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Tonight featuring the Super Dave Band, K.D. Lang. Stand by for Super Dave Osborne. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the star of the Super Dave Osborne Show, the one, the only, Super Dave Osborne. <laughs> the show tonight, uh, I want to do something right away. There's a young man in the audience who has done something that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, is Stephen Kolodny here? Come up here, Stephen Kolodny. <laughs> Welcome to show, Stephen. Uh, this young man, here, don't be too nervous, come here. This young man uh, wrote our staff for weeks and said, I've got a music video I have made of Super Dave and I'd love to show it on the show. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of things to do. Finally, we took a look at it, and it is fantastic. What do you do? Uh, are you a student? Yes. A film student? Yes. Well, you're going to go a long way. Uh, Jack, if we have that video, I would love to show it right now. This is Stephen Kolodny's video. Let's give him a musical salute. Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How long did it take you to put that together? Six months. And you work nights? Every night. Six and days a week. That's absolutely sensational, I have to tell you. Uh, normally, when we get things sent to us, uh, we're not allowed to open them, but you were so persistent, and you did such a beautiful job. Uh, I've got a surprise for you. If you'd bring this right out here, Justine, please. Well, you can tell they think this is a beautiful jacket. <laughs> this has your name on it, Steve, and I hope you wear it in good health, and I can't thank you enough, and you can go back to your seat now. Thank you.
I just want to ask you one question. Um, was that taken from our show, all those clips? Yes. And did you get our permission to do that? <laughs> you didn't? No. So you pirated it off the air and made a video? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a very exciting night for me tonight because uh, not only will I be doing the usual, but uh, we're going to do something very special. I always said if I got my own show, there was one thing I wanted to do on television. Uh, how many of you see The Tonight Show? Obviously, everybody. It's, uh, yeah. it's a fantastic show, and they do one thing on that show, which I love. They do stump the band, where people in the audience come up with very unusual tunes and try to stump the Tonight Show band. Well, I love it because you never know what can happen because they come up with great tunes and very often Johnny has to give away dinners. Well, I'm prepared to give away some dinners tonight. Our terrific band is here and we're gonna do it. If I can have the name of the people, we'll play Stump the Band. Terrific. Okay, first of all, uh, before I um, introduce anybody, uh, Michael Volker, where are you? All right, Michael, stand up. We'll start with you. And before I do, I'd like you to meet the fantastic Super Dave Band. Here they are. My band. A bar mitzvah? Did anybody tell them that we were doing a show this evening? But it's a good band. You know a lot of songs? We know plenty songs. Come here, please, Michael. Uh, what do you do for a living? Come on out here. What do you do for a living? I have a plastic business. Great. And what is your song? Piccolo Mini. <laughs> do you know Piccolo Mini? That's an easy one. We know that. See, that's not whatever it is. Do you have a here's a free dinner at Captain John's? Thank you very much. <laughs> Ann Sweeney, please. Ann Sweeney, stand up, Ann. Welcome to the show. Uh, what is your song? The Little Green Frog. Okay. Look at me, please. The Little Green Frog. I know that one. Okay, good. Go ahead. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, please. Stop it. Here's uh, Hernando's hideaway. <laughs> Listen to me carefully, please. I'm giving away dinners here that are costing money. So concentrate, all right? Do you know songs? Do you know a lot of songs? I tell you before we know plenty songs. <laughs> Shayla Miller. Stand up, Shayla. What is your song? Land of the Silver Birch. <laughs> 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 
Look at me. <laughs> Land of the silver birch. We could play that one, but we have to switch a little bit. <laughs> Land of the Silver Birch, start. Would you give it? Thank you very much. I'm very sorry this didn't work. Could you give him a dance, please? Thank you. I'm very sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you try something. Yeah, gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah, listen, do you know I'm doing a show here? We know that one. One of the joys of doing this show is presenting unbelievable talent. And this young lady I'm about to introduce has been on the show a couple of times already, and she's setting the world on fire. She just kills him here at the compound. She's unbelievable. Let's have a terrific Super Dave welcome for Katie Lang singing Lock, Stock, and Teardrops.
you. Sensational. someone to come up here and send it to Mike Walden. If you'd come down here quickly, I need you to run over here. Okay, what's your name? Rob. All right, Rob, if you'll just look in the camera and say, take it away, Mike Walden, I'll go do a stunt. Okay. Take it away, Mike Walden. Thank you very much. What we're going to see tonight as the finale to the Super Dave show is by far the most emotional, gut-wrenching stunt the Super One has ever performed. When he told me about it, the danger factor brought chills to my spine. But after he told me why he was doing it, I admired him even more, if that's at all possible. And speaking of the Super One, here he is approaching now, riding his magnificent special four-wheel all-terrain vehicle. Hello, Super Dave. Hi, guys. Welcome to the show, Michael. And uh, we've had a great show tonight. And I want to say to you, as I always do, whenever I see you, you're like the light of my life or uh, like the Twinkie at the end of a healthy dinner. <laughs> so, you're very welcome. And before we go on, I want to say one other thing. And I know you're too proud to say this. Yesterday, we received news at the compound that because of the fantastic outfits Mike Walden wears, he has been voted Salvation Army Wardrobe Man of the Year. <laughs> Covered in a magazine, and uh, it's a great tribute to our whole area. Hey, and speaking of great, great show tonight. Fantastic. Well, uh, I feel it has been too, Mike, and I feel what I'm going to do will be the icing on the cake. Uh, it's going to take a great weight off my shoulders, and I'm real excited about this stunt. Well, I started to tell the people at home all about your stunt tonight, but because this is so special to you, I want you to tell them about it. Well, I'd be happy to, Mike. Two years ago, I flew into uh, Heritage USA to help out Jim and Tammy Baker. Uh, as you know, the Bakers had a show on PTL. Yes. And uh, what I did was there was a big auction, and I took some money from my compound and purchased their home. It was their love nest. It was their favorite house, and they were afraid they were going to lose it for life. I purchased it, gave them the money to use to help them out, flew it over here, and created a special Jim and Tammy area on my compound. Danny, can we get a look at that house? Jim and Tammy residence, and the house is exactly the same as when we flew it over here. Mm. And uh, normally, as you know, Michael, we have a cleaning crew that takes care of our animal area, of our new mime area, of our plastic surgery area. Uh, we did not even use a cleaning crew for this house. Oh, I know You that. cleaned it on your off yes. hours, and you did a magnificent job. Thank you. And the reason we did that is I didn't want to move a, an ashtray. I didn't want to move a perfume bottle. I wanted the toiletries to stay the same. Uh, the way Jim folds his pants, I wanted them to be on the hanger. So in a couple of years, I figured, when uh, they proved everybody wrong, I could fly this house back again at my expense, put it in the same area as it was at Heritage USA, and say, Jim and Tammy, go in there and have some love fun. Oh. But uh, as you know, nothing did work out, and the stories that have come out about those two have absolutely destroyed my faith in human beings. Yeah. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to set fire to the house, I'm going to get on my atomic bike, I'm going to drive through it and purge my soul of it, burn it to the ground, and hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks we'll create a new area, maybe a Jimmy Swaggart house and... Uh... I'll tell you, that idea is not only noble and intelligent, but beautiful as well. Well, thank you, Michael. And you know what I've always said about beauty. Beauty is only skin deep, and that's why I'm constantly washing. Magnificently good as always, Super Dave. Well, thank you very much. Now, Super, before you go through with this stunt, have you thought about the terrible consequences of it all? Yes, I have, Mike. But when you weigh that against lifting a weight off your shoulders, the consequences are not well, so no, no, terrible. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Well, I'm talking about burning embers here. I'm I've talking about falling beams, red that. hot tar from the roof, gases <laughs> mixing with chemicals, deadly toxic fumes, and heat beyond comprehension. I mean, I'm painting a picture here of holy heck. Fat face, who told you to paint? <laughs> I'm gonna risk my life here. Can you leave me alone, please? Of course, Super Dave. Okay, guys, start the bike. Painting a picture of holy As you can heck. see, Super Dave's attendants standing ready to torch the former Baker residence. Super Dave will be traveling on a special rocket bike. Look all right. His uniform has been sprayed with a special heat-resistant Relman chemical. His helmet has been lined with genuine Saskatchewan sealskin bindings to protect the Super One from the intense heat. Super Dave.
Dave, are you about ready? Yes, I am, and I'd like to say to my loved ones, I know you're concerned about tonight, but don't worry. The outcome uh, definitely merits what I'm going to do. I feel good about it already. Guys, if I could light the torches. All right, torch the house. Careful, guys, but hurry up, please. Get out of there. Mike, you better move. Get out of there. Move. I'll see you in a minute. Super Dave, Super Dave, oh. are you all right? Oh, oh. oh Super. Oh. Yeah. I feel like I have a big weight off my shoulders now, and uh, when I wake up in the morning and look at myself in the mirror, I'm not going to feel like a fool anymore. Are indeed a one-of-a-kind human being. I feel so happy today. Well, this is Mike Walden with a rejuvenated Super Dave Osborne saying so long. God bless you all. See you all next week. I could use assistance, Mike. I'm very hot. I think I'm losing it. That's my show. Thanks to Katie Lang for a great job. Good night, everybody. I don't know why, but I have this sudden urge to shop. <laughs>